I just flew into Louisiana and it is freezing. Dude, why is it so cold, bro? It's a record low today. No. No, but it, I mean, it feels that way. Do you think these fish are even gonna bite? Oh yeah, they'll be chewing. All right, let's do it, bro. Let's get it. All the way to the back of the boat, up on the hat. There you go. Ooh, black drum. Yep. This is what we were talking about. Nice. It's like super rough out right now. This is the first quality fish we caught. We caught a couple of captains before this. What do you think, Blake? Is this uh, is this eating or is just like go? Yeah, yeah, that's a nice little medium-sized black drum. You put him in the box, he'd be good. You wanna eat him? Yeah, we can take him back. All right. Hey, you got a secret recipe for this guy? You can fry them up or throw them in a little skillet, blacken them however you want to do it, you know? Or half shell on the pit. I'm going to let you cook them. Lots of options. We'll try them out. All right. Some ice on him. There we go. First fish in the boat. Blake's pretty confident if there's a triple tail here. I mean, if there's black drum here, there's going to be a triple tail, so we'll see. What you got? Yeah. There you go. Dude, another a trout, sandy. man. A little double up on the sand trout. That's my first sand trout, bro. Hey, that's good dinner. It's not a triple good tail, but a real good eating. Hey, dude, we got we got two species in the box now to eat. There you go. Get some triple tail out of a little fish fry. Oh, yeah. Like a Cajun fishing lodge. What do you think? Sounds like a plan. All right. Nice. Hey, dude, got some variety in there. Nothing wrong with that. We got back-to-back -back trout bites. This thing's big, dude, whatever it is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, redfish. Redfish. Nice. Bro, he's okay, I got you right here. Oh my God. He piped nice it. Nice red. Sweet. Good he fish, dude. It, dude. Nice, dude. He is. Nice yeah, he's going to be 20, 25 inch, probably. It's a slot redfish right there. We're going to oh, put yeah. him on ice. He's drumming. He's saying hello. Make sure you guys subscribe to Black to Bait. That's what, that's what he just told me. Oh, yeah. Swap side is to 18 to 27, right? Yep. He'll make it. This thing is so cold right now, dude. <laughs> oh, oh my god. It is cold out here, but the fish are biting. They don't care. Now, you know what's funny, dude? Is And guys, this is like a huge tip. If you want to catch redfish, you know, that's not the target species right now, just bycatch, but redfish love big and nasty. Cold, miserable. That's what redfish love. Big redfish, man. You see that a lot in, in Florida when we get the cold fronts. The bull reds just stack up in the inlets and it's game on. Oh, yeah. That's not a bad bycatch though while fishing oh, for no. triple tail, so get a good little box of meat and then see what else we can come across. Try a few spots and see what happens. Back of the boat, back of the boat. Oh, another stand trout. That's uh, a good one. That's a good one. I thought he was a triple tail. Put the heat on him. Yeah. Fatty right there. Gosh. There you go. Triple tail? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. What do you got, man? Oh, a spade fish! Hey, there you go. That's oh what you Oh my wanted. gosh, yes, dude. You're Keep that. about those spade fish. Yes! Bro, oh, that's epic, dude. <laughs> Bro, I heard those are delicious. Let's keep him too, man. Something else for the box. There we go. Dude! Oh yeah, oh, snapper! Mango. What's the size limit here in the Louisiana, 12 Blake? inches. Huh? 12 inches. 12 inches. It's a little small. We're going to let him go, but thanks for your time, buddy. There yeah! He is. Get him, Jerry, get him, get him. Sean. Oh, boot, black drum, baby. Oh, yeah. Drum, baby. Nice one. Oh, yeah. That's a good good eating size right there. Da -de -de -de. Fish on. Oh, this one's pulling good. This ain't no. Oh, dude, it's a giant. Oh, my gosh. Dude, that's what you wanted. This is what I wanted. Big spade. Yo, guys, this is a triple tail. Look at that. That's one tail, that's two <laughs> tail, and that's the third tail. This is a former triple tail. It's not the exact one we're looking for. The one we're looking for is a little bit darker, but we're going to put him in the box. He's going to taste like triple tail, but we're going to call him a spade fish right now. Do a little catch and cook. Catch and cook, baby, spade fish. Hey, that's a good looking Boom. box right there. That is, they've got some nice variety in there, dude. Have a little catch and cook. Oh yeah, at Cajun Fishing Lodge, it's gonna be sick. After a brutally, miserably cold ride back in, uh, we still have fingers, we don't have frostbite. We're back here at Cajun Fishing Adventures, and we got Ryan here, and he's gonna show us how to fillet these fish. He's got an electric, 
<laughs> death machine. <laughs> He's gonna flay these things up in 10 seconds. If you'd see the big one, that's the baby. They got you got one bigger than that. We use sawzalls with with blades for the big fish. For the elephants. I told them to go and get it because I thought y'all had big fish. Come on, bro. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do it to us, bro. We're doing a catchy cook here, guys. Oh, let's eat them. <laughs> look at that thing. That thing cuts through like butter. Whoa! Look at that. Whoa, dude. That is. See how fast he does that? Look at that. Oh my gosh, when, when, when they got all my guys around here, we'll do a thousand fish in an hour? No. Look at that, dude, that's pristine. Yeah, first time I seen an electric knife used, I, I was at the dock in design. I was a young man, probably 20, 22 years old, and my old buddy Tommy, they had a big old ice chest of sake, which is crappy for most people. In a, he broke out that electric knife and said, you kidding me, dude, really? He said, yeah, this is a new thing. And we've been doing it ever since. And we used to cut them this way, this way, and then take the rib out after. But if you cut it from here, this gets the rib out first time, and everything's done just like that, boom. I mean, it's so efficient. Look at that. So we got Todd here with his saw, and he's gonna cut up his red saw, fish. Though. That's <laughs> how they do it in Louisiana, folks. No time wasted. Done deal, ready for the grill. Ready for the grill, just like that. Dude, how many fingers have been lost using that? None. 14. It's actually sacred because you're not forcing anything. Yeah. That's what's so good about the electric knife, too. We will never cut our fingers because you don't have to force with that like with a regular knife. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> I remember when the Florida guys started coming here for their redfish tournaments, when they come here, they have 100 redfish stacked in. We, we whacking them and they said, dude, this is a tournament, bitch, what are you doing? <laughs> we need them, that's what we're So we're playing the fish with a saga, and our electric knife, and it is fast, guys, fast. No time wasted here at all. <laughs> This ain't even trying, this is how we do it. This is the kitchen. This kitchen. This is uh, this where the magic happens? Yep, and we've got the way everybody can watch the girls cook. You know, Sandra and Claudia do a great job. You, they're the chefs? Chefs. And this is every day, you guys have fresh fish? Breakfast, lunch, dinner, we do it all. You know, if you go duck hunting, we come back, we have a hot lunch. If you're fishing, we, we have sandwiches on the boat. We come back, we have a nice fresh fish, shrimp, crab. It's a total great experience. It's, so you guys the come food here. is off the charts. You off the charts. Epic, oh, hello. You get epic food, the kitchen's busy right now, guys. We have yeah. guides coming and going constantly. Customers yeah. coming and going. It's a wild house. Hey, I love it. It's a great it atmosphere. Yeah. And yeah. we're going to cook redfish, trout, spadefish, and black drum. Yep, this, this, this is land for guys right here. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. The, the girls, the girls, first. I'm going to let the girls do it. They're going to uh, they gonna take, that's what they're doing right now. They're doing trout already. Yeah. So they're, they're, they're doing trout manure. You take. You put it with a little olive oil, just just dredge them in flour, put a little olive oil. And she's got the Worcestershire sauce, Tony's and lemon and pepper. Yeah. When you flip it, you put that Worcestershire. Oh, it's a great flavor. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Usually usually we'll put this whole thing on the grill, scale <laughs> scales down. Really? But this is a really easy way to do it as well. You do it on the grill. I've never eaten red fish before. Really? What's it taste like? It's a it's a firmer fish than a trout, but it's real good. Never eaten trout either. Really? Yeah. Nope. That's a spade right there. It's time to eat the fish we caught. <laughs> we got we got redfish. Let's turn golden. Everything's golden brown. We got redfish. We got black drum. And what's this one? It's a spade. Spade, spade fish. fish. What's this? That's black drum. That's right? black that might drum. be spade yeah. fish too. This is healthy night. We don't fry it tonight. We just we just grilled it. So this is healthy. Healthy, healthy night. Meat? Yeah. Well, I guess you're Actually, right? I have a pork chop. And we got trout right here. <laughs> trout, yeah. We got pasta with shrimp. Yep. Green beans. Uh, nice veggies. Little, little French bread. All right, Blake. Find an upside down cake waiting you, on you us. You go first, bro. Pick a take a bite of that spade fish. Nah, it's, nah, it's a nah, triple nah. tail. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Spade fish. What you think, dude? Try it. Come on. It's good. I don't eat fish a lot. Let's but. try this. Never tried it. Seen a lot of them. Try it. See what we got. You gotta try it, Ryan. Fight that, dude. Dang! That is good. Oh, you're hating on the spades, bro. Hey, Ron, you gotta try that, bro. 
Try the speed. Don't be hating Babe, now. This. Let me get rid of the pork chop. You want to get rid of the pork chop first? <laughs> Here we go. Pretty, pretty tender too. Ooh, that's a nice fish, right? You can't tell Cajuns that a fish is good. Why not? They'll be extinct next week. You can't do that. Wow. Are you serious? <laughs> First time ever eating redfish, guys. Really? Think about that. First time. You know what? It's good. Uh, it's bait fish. I think it's better. <laughs> Come on. I'm dead serious. That's bait fish. It's, it's, it's so <laughs> like tender. Well, dude, we can take you out and fill the boat up with spade you know fish, no problem. You know what else is good? Trigger fish is real good. Mm -hmm. Trigger fish? All right, mm -hmm. okay, here we go. Black drum. First time ever trying black drum. Here we go. You did a pretty sheltered life. <laughs> Been deprived. Black drum, I think, is better than the red fish. In my opinion, I mean. The bigger the fish, the, the smaller ones are always better. Yeah. Okay. And that's the biggest fish. You have more meat. It's going to be drier when you cook it. And this is the trout, guys. <laughs> this trout. That could be good. That was good. Dang, <laughs> but let me try this spade fish one more time. Here we go. So you don't want to tell anybody about spade fish now? Is, is that our secret? You know, I have to be. There, everyone watching now knows. They're going to want to go catch spade fish. All right, here's an honest question, right? Honest question. What would you rate the spade fish out of 10? For a white, white flaky meat fish, um, yeah, I mean it's good. It's pretty white meat. A seven? Seven? Yeah. How about you? What would you give that? Anytime you got pretty white meat, my favorite is a hog nose snapper. Really? My all-time favorite fish. Bad to the bone, huh? Like eating lobster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unbelievable. We don't have them here, so unfortunately. So if hogfish is a 10, what's the what's spade? The spade's right up there, eight, eight, nine. It's really? Great. Oh, it's great. It's a darn good eating fish. The nice, got soft, white, flaky really meat. It does have good Red flavors. Redfish, I mean, all of this is delicious. Yeah. So absolutely delicious. The food is amazing. Guys, our camera guy, David, he's really hungry right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna sign off. Yeah, you see, he's nodding. He's nodding. They're going, so, please so wrap this up. I gotta if, eat. If you guys are coming to Louisiana, you gotta stay here at the Cajun Fishing Adventures Lodge. They have, I mean, it's the it's an awesome experience. It's a lot of fun. Bring your family. It's an ultimate getaway trip. And if you're gonna go fishing with somebody, this guy right here. We didn't get any triple tail today. We got a spade fish. That is a, a form of triple tail. Yeah. But you guys want to go fishing, plan. Captain Blake. Triple Tail Charter, check him out. Link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button. We'll see you next time. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Frog Tongs, designed for you, created for the outdoors, and Sudacore Nutrition.